Hi Phil, welcome to Holy Habitus. Today in my one year Bible I was reading 1 Chronicles 9 and uh, the genealogies of the, the priestly families and uh, in particular I read this little bit um, about some of the people who guarded the temple, who were the gatekeepers. Shalom was the son of Cori, a descendant of Abiasaph from the clan of Korah. Uh, he and his relatives, the Korahites, were responsible for guarding the entrance to the sanctuary. Uh, just as the ancestors had guarded the tabernacle in the camp of the Lord. A little bit later it says, These gatekeepers and their descendants by their divisions were responsible for guarding the entrance to the house of the Lord when the house when that house was a tent. The gatekeepers were stationed on all four sides, uh, east, west, north and south. Um, and it got me thinking really in an analogous way um, about guarding or placing gatekeepers on the heart because... Uh, in the New Testament, it talks about how we have become the temple of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 3 and 1 Corinthians 6, 2 Corinthians 6, there are um, verses where Paul talks about how we are a temple of the Holy Spirit and therefore we need to guard what we have been given and make sure that that temple and the integrity of that temple is, 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 is held and maintained and not breached um, and uh, the door not open to inappropriate relationships or, or lusts and so on. And it got me just thinking about that, about guarding the, the tabernacle, guarding the temple. Proverbs 4, 23 says, guard your heart above all else, for from it flow the springs of life. Or in the New Living Trace Translation, it says something like, uh, it will determine the course of your life, whether or not you guard your heart. And I think all of us um, are vulnerable in different ways um, to leaving certain entrances into the temple of our heart unguarded. Um, and in certain situations, we become unguarded. We open the door and we are almost abandoned if we're not careful um, and the wall is completely breached and, and evil can flow in and, uh, and tarnish or desecrate the temple of God within. And so we need to guard against that, really. What is your, what is your danger? Is it to the north or south or the east or the west? Um, is it um, body, mind, heart, soul, strength, is it, and where, where, are you, where are you weak, where weaknesses, where, is your, where, is it, where are you in danger of not being so guarded? Is it um, um, an inappropriate relationship that could develop? Is it uh, an inappropriate um, relationship to uh, food or, or a substance? Is it um, perhaps a, a, a habit of the mind that you can, uh, I do this sometimes, I, I kind of go into a sort of fantasy mode of, of imagining getting one over somebody else and having a conversation or a confrontation and telling them what, what for and I end up entering into the zone of self-justification and, and I, w w without knowing it I've, I've let the, the gate swing open in the temple and all sorts of uh, not healthy and wholesome things come into into the, the temple of my heart. So how can we be guarded this week? What is in what direction? What gate do you need to be particularly diligent about guarding and and be conscious of that in the middle of those situations where you might be tempted to let it swing open, and, and almost imagining in your head closing the door again and and locking it with a key, guarding it for God because His His Holy Spirit resides within.